Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick edition of the Pond Key Take. That is going to be recapping the game I previewed earlier. The Iowa Wild and the Chicago Wolves. This was definitely not a game for power plays, as Iowa was 0 for 5. The Wolves were 0 for 4. But the key for the Chicago Wolves were they really pushed the pace early, pounced on them early, and then Barabo, Derek Barabo, um, of the Iowa Wild kind of gave up a softy there since, of course, for their for their team, one of the big issues they had was the Hamburglar has been out, who has three shutouts this year and has a great AHL career. Um, You can say what you want to say about him in the NHL, but in the AHL, he's a beast, and he was out, so Barbo had to come in. He allowed the first goal to Selgrim from the point. Good idea to just shoot it right away. But that is obviously a shot that he wants back on Jesper Selgren. Uh, he should have saved that bear, but went off his pad and then somehow was able to get in. So that's one that he would definitely want to have back. <clears throat> an interesting stat, though, on the season, just to throw an interesting stat. Joey Keane has five apples on the power play. Obviously, he's a guy that eventually is going to get a chance, one would believe, um, up with the big club. And one would believe that could be soon. Um, when it comes to the Carolina Hurricanes, if he continues to perform the way that he is performing. But overall, I thought when it came to the Iowa Wild, they just started off bad, didn't have enough pace. They were getting outshot. I have it written here. Um, Wolves had the first six shots in the game, and the Wild did not have a shot until about seven minutes in. Um, that's obviously not what you want to do against the Chicago Wolves teams. They're one of the most potent teams in the league, you don't want to be able to give them that much momentum and oomph early in the game. And that's what happened, because then at the end of the first, I also have that down here for my game note, 15-1. to 1. So the Iowa Wild, they did not uh, obviously defend Bear Bow enough either, but it seemed like after that goal that was allowed um, early on there, for Jesper Selgren in the first period, it seemed like that kind of deflated them, and then the rest of the first, they really couldn't get anything going. The Wild didn't have push at all, and then they got, in the second, they outshot them 13-7. to They had a lot more push, but Alex Lyon, when he needed to, stood on his head, and they kept them, for the most part, to the outside. A defenseman, I do want to point out, though, that's been a pretty good AHL for his entire career, and I believe he's an assistant captain of the team in Iowa, is Dakota Mermis. He has five points, but he played a very good defensive game, making some good plays, getting the puck off a of guy's sticks, I noticed in tonight's game. So just wanted to point out for him, made a few really nice plays on defense. But um, when it comes to the second period, I thought something that the Wild had a chance to capture some momentum. Obviously, they did outshoot them in the second, like I said, but they did not score on the early second period power play. Like I said, this was not a game for power plays. At that point, it made both teams 0 for 2, but that could have been a momentum-shifting thing there if they were able to score on the power play and really get it going at that point in the second period because, of course, Malitic did not score on his breakaway until in the third period, so if you're able to score on that power play there, who knows the tides of where this game goes, because you did have a good push in the second period. It was kind of just everything but the goal, basically, in that second period. And then the third period was a very nice period, back and forth, 16 to 15 in shots. It was a solid little push. It was just the Wild put them in too big of themselves in too big of a hole, even though it was a one nothing game. Just game tempo-wise and game momentum-wise, they put themselves in too big of a hole early that they tried to make it up. Alex Lyon stole the momentum even when they tried to get some shots on that in that second and continues to have a great season. I mean, the Chicago Wolves are certainly not a team I want to play, not just because of their overall potency on the overall team when it comes to forwards and defense. But you have Alex Lyon, who's a great veteran in the AHL. And then you have E2 McAniemi, who they picked in the fourth round. I want to say in 2017, um, maybe, um, in the fourth round. But he's been developing nicely. Did very good over in Finland. Another guy that developed in the Finnish league. And then nurtured himself there and then came over. 7-2 and two and 1 with a 220 and a 919. That's scary. And then you have Alex Lyon, who's a great veteran. So that team's set in net. 
Um, obviously, Babayu is not their starter. Hammond is. Um, Hunter Jones, <clears throat> in my opinion, is a better goaltender than him too. But Babayu, I mean, he's a solid mixing goaltender, but I feel like he's more of a two like two B goaltender, a third goaltender basically, and then a guy that works his way up to be maybe a two or just going to be a two on teams that really need him, like the Wild do at this point, jump around guys, because I think he's an okay goaltender, he just has those games where, like, exactly like today, he lets in those light goals, that's a good way to put it, because he's out of position at times, or he has to go over his pad, like he did today, but he did also have an awesome save on C.J. Smith in the slot, so it's kind of like one of those goalies where it's hard to say, maybe if he can group it all together, he can be solid, but he lets in those light goals, and then makes those really good saves, um, Malitic, obviously, again, like I said, scored on the breakaway. Um, Babayu could have came out of the net a little bit more. They pointed that out on the broadcast, and that was really kind of apparent just watching the play. He could have challenged the shooter a little bit more. Malitic on that breakaway, he kind of decided to retreat into his net, and then Malitic put it through the five hole. Um, the Wild push a little bit again in the third, but the D keeping them more to the outside. Alex Lyon stepping up when needed to. Uh, that kept them at bay, and the Wolves defending did hold them off pretty well. They defended the lead pretty well. Alex Lyon continued his success in the AHL, and obviously has a key win for the Carolina Hurricanes in the NHL this season, too. So good for him as well. As this has been a recap to the Chicago Wolves and Iowa Wild, I hope you all enjoyed it. The fourth edition now of the Pond Key Take as we recap the Iowa Wild and Chicago Wolves as the Chicago Wolves continue to move up the standings and continue to be a very impressive team in the AHL. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And as always, a special thanks to the 171 that have subbed already. If you enjoy the content and have not already, please consider subscribing to keep us going and growing. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the season.